The life of Carlos Rutemann. Following the tragic news that Carlos Rutemann has passed away at the age of 79, I thought I'd take a look at the life and career of one of Argentina's greatest ever racing drivers. Born in 1942 in Santa Fe, Argentina, Carlos Alberto Rutemann started racing at the nowadays extremely late age of 24, and in those days it wasn't considered to be too late at all. He began racing locally in 1966 and after finishing third in the 1000 kilometers Buenos Aires in the late 1960s, he moved to Europe and he began racing in several Formula 2 championships alongside the likes of Ronnie Peterson and Clay Regatsoni. And in 1971, he finished runner up in the main Formula 2 championship, the European F2 championship, to Ronnie Peterson. He also competed in races in Argentina, Sweden, Brazil, and Great Britain. And of all of the events he competed in, he finished in the top three in the majority. His consistency in these championships caught the eye of new Brab owner Bernie Ecclestone and Ruterman was signed to compete for Brabham in 1972 alongside two-time Formula 1 champion Graham Hill. Ruterman then shocked everyone by taking pole position in his first ever race at his home race in Argentina, the Argentinian Grand Prix. He ended up finishing 8th in the race but he was already showing his talent as he nearly scored as many points as Hill. As Hill scored 4 points and Ruterman scored 3. As Hill finished 16th in the championship and Ruterman finished 17th. Ruterman would be in association with Brabham until the last part of 1970 six season and he took four victories, three in nineteen seventy four and one in nineteen seventy five, as well as a dozen podiums, a seventh, a sixth and a third in the drivers championship from nineteen seventy three to nineteen seventy five in what was a very successful partnership with the British outfit. Rutman was now struggling with the new Brabham car and at the end of nineteen seventy six signed for Ferrari following Nicky Lauda's accident at the Nürburgring. He filled in for him and became a permanent driver for 1977. He took one victory in 1977 and took four in 1978 and finished third in the championship in the latter season. So he wanted a title and he moved to the reigning champions Lotus but struggled as they had competition throughout the year and Ferrari ended up winning the title in the end. However, in 1980, Williams, a team that was on the rise, saw his talent and signed him for 1980 and he finished third and second in the championship in this time period. He won only three races, less than he did in 1978. However, the Argentine driver had much consistency compared to anyone else. He should have won the title in 1981. However, due to politics, he didn't win the title. As heading into the final round, he was one point ahead of Nelson Piquet and half a dozen ahead of Jacques Lafitte. But everything was against him as the finale was held at a track which had a lot of attrition rate and Rutemann finished only 8th with Piquet finishing 5th. After the second race in 1982, Rutemann retired from Formula 1 as Piquet won the title by just one point and after his retirement he went into politics. As I mentioned before, he should have won the title in 1981 as he won a race which was meant to be a championship round but due to the ongoing politics in Formula 1 he never became a champion, ironic as he became a leader in Argentina. After Rutemann retired from Formula 1 he briefly competed in the World Rally Championship and then went into politics and became governor of his home state Santa Fe in 1991 and then he became governor for four years and then got re-elected five years after his first term. As in Argentina, you're only allowed to have one term, you can't have another after that. He was extremely popular, and as a result, he was made Senator of Santa Fe in 2003, and could have ran for presidency in 2011 of the whole country, but decided not to run in the end, as he was immensely popular, and you could say he was what Ayrton Senna could have been had he not lost his life in a tragic accident at Imola and what his effect could have been on Brazil. Rutman was the senator of Santa Fe until he passed away on the 7th of July 2021, and he took 12 wins, 45 podiums, 6 poles and fastest laps, and he drove for Brabham, Lotus, William and Ferrari in his illustrious 10 season career at the pinnacle of motorsports. Carlos had ancestry dating back to Switzerland, Germany and Italy, but the Argentinian father with ancestry in Germany and Switzerland, and an Italian mother, he had two children, both girls, and Mariana and Cora. He passed away due to several health issues at the age of 79. Carlos Loli Alberto Rutman, 12th of April 1942 to the 7th of July 2021. A father, a politician, a racing driver, and most importantly of all, a kind, lovely man with an enormous amount of talent in all aspects of life. Rest in peace Lola. Thank you all for watching.